Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed. Life has just been a little crazy lately. I haven't had much time to myself to really film and edit. Had like a small hiatus for about two weeks now and I'm really sorry. It's not like me. I guess with just everything going on, nothing bad. It's just a lot on my plate, the usual, and I just didn't seem like myself in like the past couple videos I uploaded, like the Huda Beauty and DLS lip swatches when I was watching it just wasn't me like my full 100% personality wasn't into it I love filming and editing so much it has really helped with my anxiety a lot I know that sounds really weird because I'm filming and putting something on the internet but there's just something about talking to a camera engaging with you guys that really is something cool and it's very unique it's what keeps me going with this and I just love sharing my love for makeup skincare the occasional nerd. I do really want to pursue that a little bit more. I just don't have the right equipment for doing some more nerd stuff. I just got Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at video games. It's like not even funny. It's kind of sad actually, but I do it for fun. I spent two hours playing Kingdom Hearts. I did not get far at all. And I do play a lot of Mario Kart on the Switch, which would be a lot of fun to share with you guys too, but I just don't have a capture card that you need. So I'm kind of exploring that option. I'm trying to invest in a new camera. So I want to get back into photography. Plus my Nikon kind of gives me issues when I film. So with the little mini update right there, I have already put on all my makeup minus eyeshadow, mascara, and eyeliner. Today's video, I wanted to test out the, all right, I don't know if it's pronounced Viseart or Visart. I zoomed in on my camera and it's just me trying to film. Griffin normally helps me, so I'm sorry if everything's out of whack. So this went on sale on Sephora's website and I'm like, oh, this palette's really cute and I love the colors and I haven't tried anything from this brand before. So I thought it would be fun just to test this out, see how the quality is, what kind of look we can do. Let's just jump in and see how the vi <laughs> the V-Art <laughs> treats me. I think it's called Vizzy. I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I like that little packaging. I wasn't even looking at my monitor. Open. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got some mattes on top and shimmers on the bottom. I actually really am living for these little shimmer shades. Okay, Vizzy Art. I did not prime my eyes. Do I want to prime my eyes? Let's just prime my eyes because that's what we're gonna do and I love me some Urban Decay Primer Potion and we're just going to apply some and if I blink it's gonna end up everywhere. See, it's already making its way. Multitasking. All right, this is actually really hard doing it. I am not that coordinated. I am very clumsy. I walk into the walls all the time. Kind of want to just get things going with this neutral looking shade. So there was a little bit of kickback, a little bit of fallout, but not too much. Wait, shit, what am I doing? I didn't even do swatches. Damn it, okay. Let me just finish this color and we will go back. When I first cut my hair, like it could barely stay in a ponytail and a bun and we got a bun going on. And the reason why it's up is cause when I filmed with it down, I got really hot and my hair got like really frizzy and I tried to unleash my inner artist. I am just here for the love of it. I have a vision and the vision doesn't translate. We're working on it. Honestly, I am just a geek and a nerd when it comes to makeup. Being in product development and biotech has really allowed me to appreciate the time and effort that goes into formulating products, seeing the ingredients, because in CMC, oh God, I'm really nerding out now. It's just really fascinating to see ingredients work with each other. Different ingredients make different eyeshadows. You remove one of those ingredients or you add one and you got garbage. Not that this is garbage, let me clarify. That's why I pursued science. I I thought I was gonna be a chemist. See how well that worked out. Okay, we're moving the swatches because I'm getting on a rant and I'm sorry. Focus. And I'm blurry. Okay, these feel really good. And when I applied that very neutral shade on my eye, it felt good. It blended right in and super pigmented. And we focused. I am so proud of you, camera. 
Okay, so they're super pigmented from the top. I feel like these are going to need to be built up a little bit, but they're super pigmented that you can work with. Like, I still got it on my fingers. I'm gonna work with it. I need a makeup wipe. These Berkley Jensen from BJ's Wholesale makeup wipes smell really good, actually. Like, really refreshing. I haven't tried it on my face, so I don't know if it burns because the member mark ones can burn, but it really gets the makeup off. I am such a sucker for shimmer shades, and we're going. Ooh, these feel good too, like really creamy. Super pigmented. And we're swatching. Ooh. Okay, these made it all the way down. I thought I was like swiping over <laughs> the shade that I did with my ring finger with my pinky, but we're good. Definitely shades I would gravitate towards. We're gonna go in with this purple shade and it matches my hoodie. Ignore my drool. I slept fantastic last night. I haven't really been sleeping. I got a new Samsung watch and even like my sleep record, like it was like the best sleep I've had in a long time. Cause normally I thrash like a banshee in my sleep, but I was motionless for pretty much the whole night. I'm using a Morphe G17. Ooh, hello pigment. Going right in, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe that light shade will help really kind of smooth out the rough edges. Someone's like building a fence in the neighborhood because I hear hammering of something. So if that's what you hear, I am sorry. I was more concerned about my washer and dryer. This shade is really pretty. It was a little scary at first when I put it on my eye, but it's blended out really pretty. And I love purple, so I could be slightly biased. So far, we're making this work. So I wasn't going to put foundation on my face, so I put a spot treatment, like I lathered up my cheeks because it was everywhere. Uh, hello redness on my cheeks, on my forehead. It's going down. I look like Bob the tomato this morning. It was not cute. You know, it's always easier for my left eye to blend than my right eye. And it was easier to do my left eyebrow today than my right, and it's normally my right that likes to cooperate. And I feel like you can build up these shades a little bit, so let's just try. 